Hello, and welcome to Chapter 12-1, Length and the Customary System. Today, we'll be working with three things. We'll be working with converting one unit of measurement to another, uh, properly using a ruler to draw out a specific line, as well as using a ruler to measure objects. We'll begin with conversions. In the problem here, we have three feet, and what we want to do is figure out how many inches are in three feet. Now, what all students have been provided with is this arrow chart. If you'll notice at the bottom, there's two arrows, one to the left pointing to multiplication, one to the right pointing to division. The first thing we want to do is find the measurement that we do have, in this case, feet. And there we have it. Now that we found feet, we now want to find inches as well as the direction in which we have to go to get to inches. Now that we found that, if you notice, we went to the left to get to inches. Using the arrow at the bottom, because we went to the left, we're going to do a multiplication problem. We're going to use the 3 that was given to us as well as the number between inches and feet which is 12. As you can see in the yellow box, 3 times 12 will equal 36. So 3 feet is equal to 36 inches. The next part of the lesson would entail using a ruler to both draw lines and measure lines. Most students have already used a ruler to measure to the nearest whole number, such as 1 inch, 3 inch, or 5 inch. In this case, though, they have to be a little bit more accurate. If you look at the chart here, you will notice that the students will have to measure to the nearest half inch, quarter inch, and eighth inch. The following guide should help a little bit with getting the proper fractions down for measurement. The next part is properly using a ruler. If you look at the arrow on this picture, the main key is to start measuring at the line, not at the edge of the ruler. This is a common mistake that many people make. The other mistake that some people make is not using the proper side. Please, please make sure that you use the inches side. This would be the side that goes from 1 to 12. Now we're going to put both of those together. For this example, as you can see, I'm trying to measure to one and a quarter inch. One thing that I will do is I will mark the zero line, and then I will go and find where one and one-fourth inches is, and I will mark that as well. After I've done my two markings, it's simply as easy as connecting the dots. As you can see, I've connected the dots. You can use these same abilities to measure other objects. As you can see in this picture, I lined up the object at the zero line. And then I just used the tools of my ruler to figure out how long it is. In this case, I would estimate that the p piece of paper that I'm measuring is about three inches long. This wraps up Chapter 12-1, Length in the Customary System. If there are any questions, concerns, or comments, as you can see on this page, there are two ways of contacting me. You can either email me or leave a comment for me on my website. Thank you very much, and have a great night.